You know, Paul said this in his prayer recorded in Ephesians, the first chapter. He said, for this reason, ever since I heard about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all his people, I've not stopped giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers. I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know him better. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in his people and his incomparably great power for us who believe that power is the same as the mighty strength he exerted when he raised Christ from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly realms far above all rule and authority power and dominion and every name that can be invoked not only in the present age but also in the one to come as we were singing I thought of that open the eyes of my heart I want to see you I want to see you Paul prayed that I pray that the eyes of your understanding would be open. And as we prepare for a time of prayer, that's important this morning. I pray that your eyes be open because there are times in life when you look and you can't see Jesus. There are times in your life when you look and you can't see, you can't see Jesus in your situation. You can't see Jesus in the moment. You can't see how Jesus can be at work in the moment. And let me lift up and remind you of great great testimony that dawned on me that when Jesus healed those that were blind I love to think about those occasions and I know there were many that aren't recorded in the gospels when Jesus healed blinded eyes and when their eyes were open the very first thing they saw was Jesus I love to think about that I love to think about that the first thing they saw was Jesus And I think that's a great illustration for us so many times in life where we are in the dark, we're struggling, we're in a situation and we can't see Jesus until he touches us. Oh, it may not be a physical healing of sight, but it's just as dramatic when our eyes are opened and we're able to realize You were there all the time. You were there all the time. You were there. I just didn't recognize you. It's a silly little illustration. It's a movie I I like. It's It's the Peter Pan movie with Robin Williams where he goes back and they don't recognize that he's Peter Pan. You may not have seen it. Shame on you if you don't watch kids' movies. Something wrong with you. But he goes back... Dustin Hoffman, it's a classic, you know, it's Hook. But there's a, there's a place where this cute little kid's looking at Robin Williams, and of course he's a grown man now. He's not Peter Pan anymore. He doesn't look like him. And he starts rubbing on his face. Raise your hand if you've seen that. God bless you. I'm glad somebody had <laughs> Hang with me for a minute if you hadn't. It's going to make sense in a minute. But he starts rubbing on his face, and he says, Oh, there you are. He starts to look at him, and he starts to look at him, and he says, oh, there you are. Oh, there you are. And it's like a little light goes off, and the kid realizes, that's Peter Pan. And they start getting excited and chanting, it's, it's Pan. And when I saw that, it made me think, how many times do we fail to recognize Jesus is right there? By faith, I know he's right here. By faith, I know he's right here. And Paul spoke to that early church through the the, the letter we know as Ephesians. And he said, I pray that your eyes, that your, your eyes will be open so that you'll see. So that you'll realize. So that you'll open the eyes of my heart. Indeed, Lord, open the eyes of my heart. Because I know you... You have needs this morning, and we're going to pray, but, but, but over and above the, the healing that I pray for and the answered prayers that I pray for, I pray this first and foremost, that you will look and you'll begin to say, oh, there you are, Jesus, there you are. You've been there all the time. You never left me. You weren't far away. You weren't way off in the distance somewhere. There you are. You're there. 
Because I want to say, I've been there. I've been there where I looked for Jesus and wasn't sure I could see him. And I, I just said, I've said out loud, I know, I know by faith. I can't see you at work right now, Jesus. But I know because I believe, I believe this is true. I believe that it's, it's true for me right now, Lord Jesus. And I may not be able to see just yet, but I know by faith that I'm going to say with assurance, you are there. Right in the midst. And there will come a moment, and, and there always has been in my life, those moments sometimes after the fact that I say, wow, I see how you were there. I see, I see what you were doing. Now I see what you were doing. You were there. And now I see how you were there. I pray right now in the name of Jesus that your eyes would be open to know that Jesus is right here right now. Right here, right now. He is here. You're not here by accident. You're not here today by accident. You're not here by chance. The Lord Jesus is in our midst just as he's promised to be. And you may not be able to see how he's at work in your life, but he is. He is.